What's up guys, I'm Bob Tompkins with the Living in SC team at Real Broker and welcome back to the channel. On today's episode of Living in SC, we are going to be talking about applying for your primary tax rate in South Carolina. Now, if you're moving to South Carolina, it's important to know that there are two tax rates on primary residences in the state of South Carolina, and that is the 6% tax rate and the 4% primary residence tax rate. So if you are living in the home that you purchase in South Carolina, you will be taxed at a 4% rate instead of a 6% rate, which is meant for secondary homes or investment homes. Now, right off the bat, you may hear 4% and 6% and think that's not a huge difference, but in truth, it actually is. While taxes are based on 4% of the assessed value and 6% of the assessed value, the difference is actually fairly large as that 6% tax rate ends up being about three times more than the 4% tax rate. So if you're new to South Carolina and you're purchasing your property, you're gonna wanna make sure you're getting that 4% tax rate so you're saving yourself a lot of money. So in this video, we're gonna break down how to apply for that 4% tax rate because while on the surface it may seem very simple, there are quite a few steps, especially when you're moving from out of state. So we wanna make sure that you have all your bases covered. Now I say on the surface, it seems like applying for your primary tax rate would be fairly simple because there are only two steps. The first step being you need to get a new driver's license with your South Carolina address. And number two, you need to get your vehicle registered in the state. These are the two things that the auditor's office in your county is going to require to apply for the 4% tax rate. That is your driver's license and your car's registration. Step one of that process actually is pretty simple, getting your driver's license. You should be able to bring your settlement statement from closing on your primary residence to the DMV to get that driver's license. Now, the DMV is known for being a little difficult, so they may require that you bring a bill, like one of your first water bills, electric bills, to show that you are actually being billed at that residence to get you your driver's license, but that is all it should take for step one. Now, step two is getting your car registered. Now, if you live in the state and you've been living in the state and you just bought a new home, getting your car registered is not gonna be an issue. In fact, you're probably already registered in the state. You just need to move your registration over to your new address. But if you're moving from out of state, which is the case for a lot of people who watch our channel, we wanna make sure that you have all the steps to get through this process smoothly. As I've said, getting your registration can be kind of a multi-step process and it can be very frustrating as anything can be when you're having to deal with the government or the DMV. The stuff there doesn't move very fast and I don't think I need to give a whole lot of an explanation on why the DMV can be difficult. I think we all know that. So first things first in the registration process, we wanna make sure that you have your insurance updated to your new address. Now with insurance, it is important to make sure that your insurance company is licensed to do business in South Carolina. They may have been licensed in the state you're coming from and they might not necessarily be licensed to insure vehicles in South Carolina. That is a requirement for registration of your vehicle in South Carolina and South Carolina does have minimum insurance standards in order to even drive a vehicle on the road. So you do wanna make sure that your insurance company does business here and covers your vehicle at at least the minimum required state amount. Next, you need to contact the auditor's office in the county that you've purchased in, in South Carolina, and give them the VIN number for the vehicle you're registering this will put together a tax bill that needs to be paid before you can actually register your vehicle in the state of South Carolina. They will not give you registration until you have paid that property tax bill. Next, you need to go to the DMV with quite a list of things in order to finalize that registration. 
So first, you will need your title application, which is going to be your SC DMV Form 400 so that you can apply for title in the state of South Carolina. Next, you need your title or your registration from your previous state. Now, if there's a lien holder or a title holder on the car, um, you need to provide that evidence to the DMV showing that you're still paying a loan on the car. In South Carolina, you do not hold the title to your vehicle unless you have paid off all liens or loans on the vehicle. Whoever has a lien on the vehicle is who holds the title. So you need to provide that from the previous state so that South Carolina can get you documented appropriately. Next, you need to make sure you have some form of identification. That could be your newly printed South Carolina driver's license or any other sort of verifiable identification. Next, you will need your insurance information as well as your tax receipt showing that you have already paid the SC taxes for your vehicle. And then lastly, for this, you will need to have two different forms of payment. One is a $250 infrastructure maintenance payment. This is actually something that South Carolina instituted in replacement of a sales tax on new vehicles. And it's South Carolina's way of getting money from people who are moving to the state because they charge $250 to anyone registering a new vehicle from another state in South Carolina. The other payment you will need is your title or registration payment. That title or registration payment does vary depending on what type of vehicle you have. It is a little bit more expensive to do hybrid vehicles and even more expensive than that to do electric vehicles because the state is not going to be able to get any money from you or not as much money from you from the gas tax that helps pay um, for road maintenance in the state. I know that's a lot of information in a short amount of time, so we're gonna be sure to put a link to South Carolina's DMV below this video so that you can go and see all of the necessary things that you need to get your registration in the state of South Carolina. But once you've taken care of those two steps, getting your driver's license and getting your car registered in the state, you are then able to take those two things go to the county's auditor's office, and then apply for the 4% tax rate on your home, which is going to save you thousands of dollars every single year. Once again, guys, I'm Bob Tompkins with the Living in SC team at Real Broker. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and it's been very helpful to you. Don't forget to check out some of our other videos, hit that subscribe button, and be sure to reach out to us at info at livinginsc.com if you're thinking about moving to the area. We'll see you next time on Living in South Carolina.